And let's see if it's gonna spring to action. No spring. Welcome to DIY with Herman James. I'm Herman James, and on today's episode, I'll be unboxing and reviewing backpacking and hiking chairs. Like I said on in the intro, today I'll be uh, unboxing and doing a quick review of some lightweight backpacking or hiking chairs. Really just something I wanted to get for myself so I can throw in the back of my car. So when we've got this guy going somewhere or my Acura or my wife's car, when we're gonna go and watch my niece play softball, if we're gonna go to someone's house over the uh, summertime, wherever we need to have some quick chairs to go with, I don't wanna have chairs that are gonna be cumbersome. We've got beach chairs that have backpacks and coolers on them, portable chairs, the standard normal folding chairs that you have at most backyard barbecues and weddings and things of that nature, but I don't want to lug them around. So I bought some chairs that weren't the cheapest of chairs off of Amazon to check out what we got. So what we've got here are click click chairs, I think that's what it is. You like you, sound like to me. They were just small, compact chairs, and I'll try to put a picture somewhere up here of what they look like on Amazon. Um, they were on a lightning deal, so this chair, which again, even in the box, I mean, it's not huge, uh, originally was, I think, 90 something dollars, and on a lightning deal, it was 84 dollars, so that was really nice to see. And then it came with a backpack to put everything into and uh, if you bought two of them you ended up getting the backpack essentially for free which is nice these aren't super or at least not supposed to be super big in order to have a deal with so gives you an idea of what it's supposed to be like and how to take care of everything And that's it. That's the entire chair setup. I mean, really, plain and simple. Now in the video on Amazon, these things sprung open and set themselves upright. So let's see if this is going to do the same thing. And let's see if it's gonna spring to action. No spring. Wait, hold on here. Let's let's see if it's gonna spring to action. No, no spring. But that is pretty cool. So That was not really all that easy to get put up there, but it's there now, which is nice. And this to there, and it's supposed to have a, a back of it, so there we go. Everything's on. Everything's where it should be. Everything's where it's sitting. And I mean, I like it. It's uh, nothing too outrageous. It is very light, so that's nice. I mean, it's very, very light. Not bad. So let's see if it's uh, gonna hold. Yeah, I mean, 
six one, two hundred twenty pounds, and I like it. Yeah, it's actually reasonably comfortable. It's the back is okay for where it's at. I like it. Now let's see how it's gonna fit in the backpack. Relatively easy to set up. Should be straightforward to take down. with two hands for sure or with the pressure on there but now that it's there you just push this button here there you go and then it'll fold in and of course now it wants to spring out a little bit but uh yeah so here roll the sky Yeah. I like it. Lightweight, a few pounds, nothing major. And again, it came with the backpack. Well, it came with the backpack if you bought two. So I bought two. So let's take a look here. So, nice, um, no frills backpack, it feels a little oily, but really, it looks like a wine backpack. But, I mean, it should do, right? Base falls out. I guess it's not a backpack, it's a bag. And the handles should be on the outside of this guy. Where everything is taken care of. Let's flip it. And let's just see. And two. compact I mean that should do really well I mean it's not heavy I'm able to kind of keep this with on my side I mean the size of it itself I mean roughly what is that hands with the part so about eight inches from tip to tip or so not bad a little bit longer than that almost double hand size going up so I like it I think for the money, it is ridiculously expensive. If you don't mind lugging around full-size, regular-size chairs, or having something like these stools hidden around places, then you're good to go. But if you have a small car, or you just want to be able to kind of grab and go, and you don't mind sitting a little bit lower, but not super low, like the chairs I showed you earlier, the uh, beach chairs, this is the way to go. Now, is it worth the hundred and what is it hundred and sixty dollars for two chairs I can't say it is but I impulse bought them and I like them so I'm keeping them I'm not sponsored by them so it's my money to buy it's my money to go with and uh yeah we'll see how long they last so I'll put a link in the description below if you want to pick up your expensive chairs like I said I like them I'll keep them around for a while if there's any negative effects of the chairs like if they tear if they don't work right I'll make a new video of it I'll explain it all to y'all as well um, but yeah if you like it and you want to help me and the channel please use the link in the description to uh, buy your click 
click, click, clock, click, click. We're going to go with click chairs. Um, I'd appreciate it because it costs you nothing and it helps support the channel so I can buy more crap like this and do some more reviews. Well, that's about it for this episode. I want to thank you for tuning in and thank you for sharing. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider hitting that subscribe button. And I can't wait to be in your eyes and ears next time.